guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who do not know i am ali and today's video is going to be a no by july update so i hope you guys enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up if you do if you're not subscribed please go and subscribe it would really make my day and before we jump into it i just want to say that i'm going to be doing no buy updates every friday on this channel um for the month of july so for those of you who did not see my last video i am doing a no buy july which means i'm spending no money on anything that is not necessary so anything that I do buy, I am logging. That is in what I mean by buying. I mean anything that's not food, grocery, shelter, etc. I am in gas. I am not including in this um what what I'm not buying scenario. So I hope you guys again enjoy this and we're gonna jump right into it. So I switched up the budget template that I'm using. I am using this one from the Debt Free Mama. I follow her on Instagram. I'll leave her down below. This just is so much better for me than every dollar because everything is just so neatly organized and it's a spreadsheet and it's for the whole month and it just makes my life easier that I can see the breakdown of each check and what I have left. So for my first check, my first last check from the school district that I am working that I work for was $557.20. Summer school has not started yet, so that income will be coming within the next couple of weeks as well because I get three paychecks this month, which if you get paid bi-weekly like I do, you know that the third check is like always like, yes, when that happens. So that is from Income One. It gives you four um, income spots, but, and then other deposits. So other deposits, I had a couple sales on Poshmark and I had one Facebook market deposit and then I had one um, rewards check from a credit card that I paid off that um, I added in there and that's fifty fifty nine. So I didn't donate any money yet this month. Um, I'm really having a hard time finding charities that I really want to support right now. Um, as a conservative woman, I try to keep my money in that realm of things and I'm having like a really hard time finding um, what I want to donate to right now. So then emergency fund transfers. So that we're going to talk about right with a sheet that I'm going to be using. So this right here is a sheet that I got on Instagram and I just printed it out for free. This is um, $10,000 bi-weekly 52 week saving challenge. Um, I want to save $10,000 this year for a fully funded emergency fund because if I did the math right, that is what I need. So the first amount was 40, which is what I saved. Next, the following in two weeks, it's 80. And it, it just does all the numbers for you, which is amazing. So that is what I put in my savings account. I didn't have anything roll over. Um, I don't Housing, I didn't really need anything right there because, again, I am currently living with my parents, but the goal is to get us out. Don't have to pay utilities or cell phone or cable. So for groceries, I gave, for groceries, I gave myself... Like, I put, like, totals on the side of what I'm going to spend. It gave myself, like, 100 and I'm at 40 right now. That I paid for, even though I'm not counting it, I paid for overnight oat stuff um, for breakfasts because my goal is to, like, meal plan all my breakfasts because breakfast is something that I tend to go to, like, Tim Hortons or Starbucks and spend that money, and I'm really trying not to do that this month. So that's why I started looking for, like, easy breakfast ideas. So I'm going to do a batch of overnight oats this week um for the next couple weeks and then we'll go from there coffee i did budget myself for coffee even though i'm trying not to go there i gave myself 40 dollars, but again i haven't spent any of it um so that is that um work lunches right now i don't need due to summer school being a half a day instead of a full day i don't need any work lunches so i'll be eating at home which is great because it also saves me money Gas, so gas has gone up, and I originally budgeted $60 for gas total because it's usually what it fills up with my tank, but I had to pay $35 this week for gas, so I might have to look at that budget in the outcome because I like to put, like, um, this is a spot for, like, there's a spot on the spreadsheet for, like, dates, date, bill, paid, or any other notes, so I just kind of put, like, a budget of, like, what I want to spend that month in the category, and, again, 60 was for that. Oil changes, I'm not due for an oil change this month. Car repairs, I have gotten lucky so far with my, knocking on wood, brand new car. It is a 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse. 
and I've only had to pay for one thing so far, and I paid for that last month, and that was new windshield wiper blades. Um, car replacement fund, my goal is to put $100, extra $100 in my savings account um, towards a car because I do want to start saving ahead of time for a car. My car insurance, I paid for the year already, so I don't have to pay for that. License and taxes. So I'm just going to put that amount there. We're going to talk about what I bought. I paid $17.80 for something, and we're going to talk about it in a minute. Other, I gave myself like an other for transportation just to be safe, which is like $32 um, roughly. Actually, wait, there's not supposed to be. I don't know why I put $32 there. But yeah, I don't have anything there for that. So that is that stuff. Medical and health, there's no doctor's appointments, no dental, no prescriptions that I need to pay, no gym membership because I pay for Beachbody annually, $99, $99, so we're good. Personal life insurance, please don't come for me. I don't have life insurance. Um, I know that's a priority that I need to have. I'm aware I just haven't found a company that I really want to child care I don't I'm in a very fortunate situation where I don't have to pay for child care due to my other grandparent due to my son's other grandparents being retired in the wonderful co-parenting relation co-parenting relationship I have with him and his parents I am fortunate enough that I don't have to pay for child care um diapers and wipes I haven't had to buy anything this week but I budgeted about 40 for that um other kids' expenses, I'm not budgeting for clothes at all. My goal is to not spend any clothes. We don't have any pets. Um, toiletries and cosmetics, I gave myself $100 for that, um, even though my goal is to only pay for the things that I use up. We're going to talk about that in a minute, too. I'm trying not to talk about, like, and I already spent $11.99 in that category. We're going to talk about that again um, in a minute. Um, hair care, I didn't spend anything. Subscriptions. So I have a list of my subscriptions and only one came out so far this month, which was $5.99, which I'm again, I'm not really counting personal spending cash. I gave myself $20 to spend like that's it. Like that's the bare minimum we're giving myself each week for personal spending cash is 20. So we'll talk about like how my what I'm giving myself for things. So and I have I want to start setting aside money for Christmas now as well. Um, I don't have any recreation and debt snowball. I did pay off a credit card this month, guys. July 1st, I paid off one of my credit cards, which was 248. All I have left now are big balances. So 506, 1143, and 3,136 dollars for a credit card. And I cannot wait to have those paid off. Super excited about that. And I have like the minimum payments put over here. So I know what the minimum payment for this month is is for each of them um i'm not going to get too, too much into detail with that because again that is the goal so now we're going to talk about what i spent my money on this month so so far i have spent 1780 so so the first thing i did was spend 1780 which was in my car fund that was for my missing license i don't know if i talked about it on here or on my instagram but your girl lost her wallet and everything i don't know what happened I spent like a night out and I didn't have my kid and the next thing I know my wallet is gone. So I had to pay $17.80 to my state to buy me a new license. So for body wash, body wash was buy one get one half off and I just needed the body wash but since it was buy one get one half off I decided to buy the second one so that way when the other one runs out I don't have to buy it and then it ended up being $12. So another thing that I bought was supporting a local business and it is a smoothie business that this girl runs in my state and she does Venmo and I paid $60 for a week's worth of smoothies. So that is everything that I purchased so far in the month of July. I'm really, really proud of myself because minus the smoothies and minus the license, those were all like there was only one purchase that I really needed to make, which is the body wash. Another thing that I did before we exit this video and i guess you can count my subscriptions even though i really didn't want to amazon prime i pay 12.99 a month for that and then hulu 5.99 came out so that is the things that i purchased so another thing that i got that i paid for that i got for free 
I found this because of Kristen's classroom here on YouTube. I'll link her down below. She's also doing no buy. And I bought this for myself. This says SUV loan from the debt free charts. They have like a ton on there. Again, I have an SUV loan, so I wanted to buy this. And you can highlight and track where you are. I am about here. I'm like super, super proud of myself. Like for this, so I can highlight this. This is to remind me of my goal to be debt free. I'm also, I do also have a student loan. But I'm focusing on the credit cards and the car loan first. Um, just, well, I'm really trying to focus on the credit cards first and then move on to student loan. But because I pay this monthly, I just like to highlight where I am in the month. If I put any extra money on it, I will highlight it. I'm just, I have this and I hang this and this on my bulletin board just so I know where my goals are for 2021. The less debt I have, the more easier it's going to be for me and my son to move out. And that is the goal. Um, I'm super, super proud of myself and the progress that I've made. Usually when I do a no buy, it doesn't stick, but this is sticking and I'm doing such a good job and I'm choosing to use things up and I've really looked at like my finances and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm not really working right now um, because I when I work and I'm making the money, I definitely tend to spend more. So I'm definitely liking the fact that I'm holding myself accountable for 31 days of no spending money. Again, I'm doing really, really good. And I have a goal of what I want to save for the month. So I want to save $1,000 by the end of the month um, towards my big savings goal, which is another reason why I have this. But this is the 52 week because I get paid bi-weekly. So it's just nice to have this little like rundown of what needs to be saved for that. And I'm like super excited. But again, I'm super proud of myself and I've downsized quite a lot and I've gotten rid of quite a lot of things. I have some things on my Poshmark, which I'll link down below. A big portion of this month has made me realize like what I'm actually spending my money on and what I actually need. I have an overabundance of like bath and body lotions and lotions that I'm trying to use up because that is the goal is to use things up before I go buy more because I have way too much over there and it needs to go. Same with, um, I have like two masks over there. My goal is to just use everything up physically that I can. Um, I have found a lot to get rid of again, like I've said, and I found a lot to sell and I'm super proud of myself. Um, something else that I've recently done is I've kind of, I love Beachbody and I love Beachbody workouts and I love their products. But recently I have decided that I am going to switch to a protein shake that's that's more affordable for me because paying $99 a month is not affordable at all for me and I will use up and I will continue to like use the energizer because that I do use and the collagen but I'm kind of stepping away from the beach body coaching because it's I am paying $17.23 to coach when I'm not really making the money and I'm putting all this work into this business and I'm not seeing the output. So that is why you are going to be seeing some Beachbody content, but not much Beachbody content here. Um, I love Beachbody and I will continue to use Beachbody. It's just very much a struggle right now and I've got to have a little bit more prioritizing the money situation and I can't keep forking out all kinds of money to not see any payoff. And it's a little frustrating that I've been doing the business for two years and I have not seen a single check from Beachbody. And I know last year it was because of COVID and COVID was a struggle, but it's still very much like even before COVID, I've already been doing this three years and I'm not seeing the payout that most people see. I haven't hit Emerald rank. I haven't done any of those things. And I just feel very frustrated and very stagnant. So I'm going to step away because I really feel like if that's where I'm supposed to be, then it will eventually work out. But for right now, it's just not where I am. And yeah, so that's my no buy update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you do. If you're not subscribed, please let me subscribe. And I will see you all next time.